there's a fine line between feeling weak and being weak. Uh, this is the end of a week that admittedly has gotten a little bit tough. <laughs> Physically, I was feeling pretty beat down. You guys all saw that squat session where I was just, I don't want to say going through the motions, but it was kind of just survival mode and getting through and really living the grind in that. Uh, and the next day I had these pause deadlifts and I had pretty low expectations. I pretty much had told myself I'm going to work up to a top set and then drop down to what would be pretty much the bare minimum of my pause deads uh, at this 515 range and just do the required volume to be done with it and, and just call it there. I put on 605 and surprised myself by tying the most weight that I or the most reps I feel like I've ever done at that weight. I hit a five rep and it wasn't easy. It wasn't, it, you know, wasn't the most beautifully performed po double pause deads that I've ever done in my life. But at the same time, being able to match that uh, beltless the day after feeling like I was going to die of squat overdose um, was, was kind of a cool feeling, especially because I didn't get a chance to do all the hand care stuff that I normally do. Normally I shave my calluses and sand them down and uh, get my hands ready to go before, but I didn't have a chance to do that. So if you saw, if you go back and watch again the 605 right at the start, I was about to pull and it was sitting right on an opened uh, callus. So I had to readjust my grip and it ended up not being a problem, but it just kind of goes to show that some days you're feeling like you got hit by a train, but you're still able to uh, perform beyond your expectations, which definitely gives some validity to the argument that it's important to always give your best effort because you never know if you're going to be able to produce something uh, on that particular day, regardless of some of the things your body may be telling you. And yes, be smart about it. I didn't try to push past that. I didn't try to add weight. I didn't try to do the set over again, but... I didn't let myself go in with the mentality of I'm not even going to really train on this day. I'm not even going to put the effort into the session. I gave it my best and I ended up with that PR. And then I moved on to my close grip uh, feeling similarly. My bench has, has been, you know, I've been training it a lot. It's been feeling pretty whelmed, not overwhelmed, because I put on 315 for this close grip and hit a five rep which I don't recall doing before I don't know the last time I've ever hit a 315 close grip um, they weren't paused but they were not crazy bounced either so walking away from a session that could have easily gone down in the books as a throwaway just make it to the end session and I got some good quality work in because I made the choice to put in the effort required to actually push yourself a little bit and find that limit instead of assuming you already know where it is a lot of people limit their progress by imparting these uh, perceived expect expected limitations on themselves with that just have no real foundation or basis and it really prevents them from ever getting to a higher level of development or anywhere close what their true effort can produce and that's just I mean this session stands as an example of that I'm gonna be resting really hard for the next day and a half uh, getting ready for my squats on Tuesday next week the volume is coming down a bit I'm gonna be focusing on it kind of like an intensity week uh, and then adding volume back in for my fives the following week and then adding a lot of volume back in for the threes which is probably gonna be the the highest point of my week or of my prep block going in that's going to be three weeks out so excited and nervous and anxious for all of that uh, you guys can check out the workout right up there or the week right up with all the deets on what's going on with volumes intensities lift numbers all that good stuff but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like rating, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and watch it again. Maybe you'll change your mind. Hopefully you will. 
Apart from that, I will see you on Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye.